Okay. Mommy. Hmm. I don't know. Oh wait, it's. C enter. Wait. Control C. Damn it! Wait. What? Is, okay. No, 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 no. The thing to make a. Uh, it's like Alt Control C. I'm trying to think to make this a uh, a uh, uh, windowed and not full screen. I'm not gone! Just give me a second. Uh, keys to make window. I'm not gone! You guys get so nervous. Alt enter. Okay, I can do that. Yay! Okay, cool. Almost done. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Brennus, for 333 and Axel for 191. I, why are you saying I'm dead? Can you not hear me? I'm very confused. We can hear you. Then why are you saying I'm dead? Is Mel talking? Yes, I'm talking! I don't understand. Are you guys doing that thing where you lie? Mm. We never lie. I think you're lying. Almost done. Have I talked about genitals too much? I think I did it right. Oh my god, the game is judging me. I was just setting the clock. Wait, I disappeared! Oh shit! Wait, no, 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 I got this. Hold on, hold on! Oh wait, can I fix it? I might have fixed it. Okay. Go down here. And... Raise the timer? There is no timer, you fiend! Okay, this looks good. I think I did it. God damn it! <laughs> There, it's perfect. You're so mean. You guys are such bullies. I don't even. I would never bully you. <laughs> God damn. There. Can you guys see all the writing? So basically, the the computer is said, what time is it? And um, oh wait. No, I won't do the music yet. So what time is it? And I just click like 12, cause that was the option. And it's like, you're not trying and stuff. So it's being very sarcastic at me. I'm just not trying to get angry. It's just that a lot of people ignore the gameplay settings altogether. You're not like them, right? Ugh. Look, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, do me a favor and actually set the time, okay? Okay, good. Glad we had this talk. 
All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Thank you, game. Okay, let's mute background music and let's put on desktop. Okay, so tell me, is that too loud or too soft or what's going on? Oh shit, I made it worse. <laughs> Don't lamau me, man. Nineteen twenty. Black screen, good game. Yeah, dude, 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 dude. You've never played. You've never played black screen. Oh, dude, dude. It's a crazy like paranormal shoot 'em up game. Insane. You've really never played this before. What's your deal? Like, get good, fam. <laughs> Fine. I'll manually. God damn. <laughs> oh! Okay, I just needed a minute. There. Perfect. There you go. No one can complain. No one can complain! Nailed it. Okay, we're good. Let's do it. <laughs> Begin the game! Yay! I'm really excited, I'm really excited, I'm really excited. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although his others might sucked. have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh -oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Uh -oh. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Mm. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Maybe I don't want to leave the office. Maybe I want to be right here. I like what I'm looking at. I like this old computer. I'm very curious about it. And this envelope. What is in this mysterious envelope? Or these pens are very intriguing. 
I know what I want in life and what I want in life in this very moment, in this time and place in the universe. I want to sit right here and do nothing. I want to look at this wall, this realistic wall, the three dimensions that it has crossed, that it has entered. I am very curious about this cubicle. What is the meaning of a cubicle? Where does the name originate from? Okay, now I want to move. Uh, All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I hate Mondays. <laughs> no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Mm -mm. I hate that mold. Mm -hmm. Ooh, plant. Hi, plant. Plant, will you be my friend? I'm very into plants right now. And I feel like I could take care of you if you give me the time. If you give me the chance, the opportunity to be a good plant parent. Please. They left their computer on. This number one dad is not a number one employee. 431, 433. Yeah, no, this is a normal office. But, there's nothing outside. Good start. Oh no, I'm lost! Ugh. Uh, uh. I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh. No, it just all looks the same. Cool. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Shit! Ah! No! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No. Mm -mm. No. I don't need people to... Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few <laughs> moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I want to drink the soda. Give me your soda, Pop. Give me soda. I yes, want. Yes, hmm? really, really worth it being here. It in the is. Room. I want the a room soda. So utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished. Here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, I'm looking really at the drinks. It. I'd like a drink, please. And then I will continue on this quest. Please at give this drink. Point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Oh my god. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow! But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and huh? took the first open door on his left to get back to business. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I touched a shiny, I touched a shiny, I but touched a shiny. didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. <laughs> so now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. from here it's, um, <laughs> left. <gasps> I thought I hallucinated. I'm sorry, I got scared. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's to the right, my mistake. Shut no, up! No, 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 <laughs> Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? You bitch! You bitch! You bitch! Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right, 
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. Mm. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Thank you. God damn it. Oh, wait, now it's spooky. Oh, wait, now it's spooky. Oh, I don't like the spooky. Whoa. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay. Jump to okay. my desk. We, we just have to get oh. back to, um, oh. Jump. Oh, am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Why is it rubbish? The whole story completely unusable. No. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No, 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 and no, no wait. Time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? What's that Okay, one? from no. the top. Fuck! All of his co-workers <clears throat> were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided <laughs> to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. simply missed the memo. <laughs> when Stanley... Shit. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, no, this I... is different now. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Something Stanley, changed. did you change anything when we were back in that room with I all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere? Or I didn't. Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah. It was right here just a minute ago. Yeah, where did you... I know for sure yeah. that it's here somewhere. Where did okay, you put then? the story, bro? It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Uh-oh. Let's find this the story. Way. I want to go over the chair. This game is broken, clearly. This is a broken... Broken game. This is not. Let, I'm gonna shit on this chair if you don't let me go over the goddamn chair. God damn it. Wait, now there's too many options. I don't like that. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. Ah! I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just. Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, I don't... Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Why? Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? What? No, wait, I already... I chose! God damn it! All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it, it mean? mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply, simply missed a memo. Missed a memo. God damn... Okay, wait! Yeah, it's worse. It's I might be worse. remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? A cough. The Monday has changed. Maybe the cough fate. Fuel. Not all the same. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm lost. Oh. Aha. Uh. I knew we'd <sighs> miss something. <sighs> the story. Here I don't like comes. that scary over here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No, wait. Never mind. Well, Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way. Wait. And retrace our steps. I don't under... Everything! Oh, I don't it's scary. Oh, it's scary. I don't... Oh, it's scary. What if he does a door thing? I don't like the door thing. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. What? Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? I... Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Does this do Since jump scare? Since I've completely scare? forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! What? Congratulations! <gasps> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. <gasps> Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. 
We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Oh, my God. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. We... Damn it. They are. Oh. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Oh my god. Guys, guys, guys. This is what it's like... Um... Uh, uh, being my manager. I'm serious. I'm serious. This is what it's like to be my manager. This is, this is what it, I'm not even lying. This is what it is like. <laughs> it's okay, Mel. Don't worry. I have employed this Project Validity Adventure line. All you have to do is follow it. And nothing, you'll, you'll get it done. I'll be like, what? Oh! <laughs> See, the team started being normal, you know, and treating me like a functional adult. And I proved not to do that well. And so, bullet points are often uh, used, and reminders, and, and, and just friendly, helpful, hey, hey, did you, did you see that? I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky! Seriously, without, like, Pachi and stuff, like, I... Psh, life would be very... So much worse! And if anything gets done, it's because... Because... Because the teen helped me be a productive human adult person. You see? Like, the line knows where the story I'll never is. Be a real it's over in human, this direction. But I can try. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination? Even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now if my experience of mm -hmm. your existence rests inside of your subjective experience no, of this being office, weird. Mm -mm. is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? This line whoa, 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 whoa. is evil, I don't Hang trust on. it. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. I like you know this what? box. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. I don't know what to do. Dude, what's with the sexy sex music?
Cut the music. Go, go back God. and look at that fern. What is happening? Why? Go back? No. No, I won't. Wait, what? We're what? back at the office? No. No, well, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? I'm the looking story? for the Stanley Parable. Is excuse me. This ringing a excuse bell? me, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh! Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us after we trusted you? After everything we've been through... Wait! You... Oh, I can't take this anymore to How hell with it. How do I get down it. there? Restart. No! Am I just too good at this game? God you damn know what, it! Stanley, what? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Yeah! We're intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Yeah! Something exciting. Daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Mm -hmm. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Is he evil? Um. Because I don't know if I ever beat the game. Thank you for your hype train, guys. We're getting closer to goal as we adventure! Now, ba -ba -da -da. yes, this is exciting. Da -da -da -da. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go on. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. He's ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Uh -oh. Stanley, line. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Well, it's hard to not acknowledge it. It's a big yellow weird line thingy telling me where to go. Maybe line needs ah, to... Ah, oh. good choice. We Why get are you to closing the decision. door? From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. We mustn't squander fact, the opportunity. I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Uh. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, oh. the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door what? that leads here. Uh oh, wait, now and I'm lost. Oh, shit! Which one did I? means that our destination corresponds with the counter oh, no, inverted okay, no. reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Love in! Love in! Damn it! Hmm? Oh, hold up. What's this? What? Oh. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what? what this is? It's all one giant ending? What? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? What? That's really how all this goes? What? It's all determined? So now, according to the Wait! schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to no forget? There is no longer an office, simply black space. Wander in the blackness, blank, find a bookstore. It's word and leave. Narrative this, restarts this the game. Eighth restart, and narrative gone. Wall. After a long time, I well, die? Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I'd... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, yeah. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. What? I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. Do I it. won't do it. Do it. And the timer to stopped? What? Does that mean um, did we do it? What? Did, did we, we break win? the cycle? Did we the, win? Um, did we win? Did we win? Did we win? Schedule? How would we even know? Thank you, Roxy, Will for five sparkle jugs. Thank Will something you. Happen? Do we win? So, Why are you looking at me? Okay. We won! We won! We won! We won! Yes, now we just Bum. wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... 
Wait. Wait, I don't under... I don't understand! Why? 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 I don't understand. Ugh. Hold on, let me check something. I'm not cheating, I promise. <laughs> Hold on now. Mm. Don't worry, I, I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> Hola, como estas? Hmm? How are those spoilers? What do you mean? Oh, I didn't cheat. I um. How do I break things while I'm just sitting? You know, like that's not fair. <laughs> but I pull the cord. <laughs> It's probably fine. All is well, for I am a genius. How? I was just like spinning my chair as I do, and and it was wrapped around the little handle thing. You know what? It's fine. <clears throat> We're playing a game. Everything is fine. <laughs> Thank you. I am doing a good job. Hmm? You hate when that happens. You ruined a six dollar cord on your HTC Vive that way. Dude, oh my god, I understand. I understand. I don't know why it's at the right height to where cords wrap around the little handle. And if I turn the chair and it's wrapped and I don't notice, it like rips it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. What am I fibbing about? I'm careful, don't worry. Kind of. I never thought you were a scaredy cat, Mel. I'm a bit of a scary, scary cat. I don't, I don't like um, um, jump scares. Get, just get a ten meter cord and have it entangle everywhere. See, that is how you ten brain it right there. That you need 10 brains to have an idea that good. It's not a scary game, but I feel like it's going to because it has red lights 
and um, boxes. And if I've learned anything, when there's red lights and boxes, there's probably scary, fluffy uh, animal creatures coming to kill you. I just watched the Nick Cage movie where he's in the Five Nights of uh, Freddy, and um, it was weird. I didn't like it. I don't like it one bit. Boxes are scary. <laughs> I'm almost done fixing. Hold on. I'm making a note. I'm making notes because I make notes for myself. See, that's one thing though that that I have developed like over time. Um, I'm more, I'm pretty I'm a frick up. I am. I mess up a lot. But I've been taking notes now, and they have uh, made me frick up less, slightly less. Let me make a note. Of what I need to fix. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? What was the name of that movie again? I forgot the name of it. I was I was watching it. The Nick Cage one. Self-improvement? What do you mean? I love good notepad, baby. Um. <sighs> Wire. This goes for the Almost done. Shit, what is it called? I'm he- Oh, man. I'm entertaining. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rim shot? Sorry, what? Boxes aren't scary after all. Vaginas are just the box of penis comes in. What are you talking about? Okay, one. Assuming much, not everyone likes penis. What? What a strange example you gave. <laughs> I didn't say that. That was said by... Oh, blah. That was said by... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Garadin Face Shade. They said that, not me. I was reading it. Technically, it's a box a human comes in. You know what? That is horrible and also true. <laughs> Penises are the dark souls of body parts. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, humans have lots of nature pockets. For instance, their butt. Hmm? Oh no, what did Heg do? We trusted you! I don't see what he did. What did he do? Was it bad? Oh no. Hmm? Penises are the Elden Ring of nature. What does that mean? I am so incredibly confused. Ah. Oh. He's preparing for Tifa's birthday. Oh shit! How so? He did your mom. What the freak? No, oh, please. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Mm -mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, and done. <sighs> Man, it's so nice having an Android product. Get fricked, Apple. Hmm? That's what, that's... No! That's a weird joke and I don't like it. I love puppies. I realized, I realized this summer, um, I really like puppies. I think more than I used to. I, I think I'm, I'm leaning towards puppy person instead of a, uh, a, a, a cat, cat, cat lover. I, I mean, I love them both, of course, but I think I'm leaning puppy now. I don't know. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley the decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, 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 I'm going to the goddamn meeting room. What the freak? Oh, wait, let me turn around. <laughs> there, am I? I feel like I'm looking to the. To, don't pull the cord. I'm not. Loud share noises. This is the. Keyboard. Yeah, baby, you like that keyboard? Oh, yeah. Janitor closet left the path? What do you mean? Jan oh, wait, no, I'm lost. Uh oh. Uh -uh. No, wait, that's. No, 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 no. I got this. No, 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 no. You guys believe in me, Rosh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Fine. he entered the door on his left. I'll listen this once. But that's it. Spooky. Spooky. What? Yet there was not a single person here either. What is Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided <laughs> to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with the co Okay. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a thick blue graphic in the header. And throw some uh, bevel on all that text. And everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> Number of slides on this slide. Slide, charts, charts, and slide. Oh man, this is like if I did a thing. This is this is I'm motivated. Right at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. conflict if you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself but more inclined toward conflict and let shit plant life comatose spring break metamorphosis what? this is impossible Ooh. What do people want? Things? Happy feet? Nope. Violet James, you are fired. <laughs> oh no! Money. More money! Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things plus money. We have our new product. <laughs> Business letters and company. Telephone directory. The stock market is somewhere here. Colored in segment. Stripes. Requires more secondary research. What is hot? <laughs> Target demographic. Teenagers. Profits, 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 profits. <laughs> I love this. A lot of percent. Teenagers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Throw something in the idea bin. Uh, one. No more, no more bins. <laughs> Trash cans. Renaming of the idea bin. Firing of me. <laughs> By quarterly post review review. We need... Hmm? We need what? Mo mopeds? What does that say in the scribble? We need what? Yeah. We need more slash less. We need less reviews. 402 plus 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. What? 
Um, but I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. More water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip to appeal to the teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in the teenage demographic. <laughs> Some sort of child trait. <laughs> Do you not alter without consulting whiteboard manager? Meeting room floor floor. Group. This is so cool. Oh. Mergers! We broke Wednesday. Oh shit. Termination Tuesday. <laughs> ah. Boss's Inception. Legal. Oh, at least they're having a party. I love everything about all of this forever. Just so you know. Do you think we are teenagers? I certainly hope. Coming to a staircase, again, Stanley Twitch, walked so upstairs to his boss's up, office. A viewer of Twitch. For it is a general platform. What the frick? Is this the office still? Hello? Stepping into his manager's office, oh, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from what him? What dark secret's being what he could held not from have known me? Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, Yay! by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Um, but I don't see a passageway. Yes, I do. Never mind. Hello? Oh. Um... I don't like these sounds. There is verb verbering. There's reverbering. And there's re I don't. I pressed up, not down. I hear verbering. Descending oh, deeper into the building, Stanley evening. realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Oh, no. This question would not go unanswered for long. Uh oh. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> Mel, you giant wuss. No! You're mis I'm misunderstood. <laughs> run away! Run away! Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision Let you've made to Let come up out. here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat.
What if that lit green, man? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Again, I'm scared. I'm scared and I hate this, I'm scared and I hate Incredible. this. Now he's getting back into the elevator Incredible. and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all this? Because I'm a genius, you jag. <laughs> Do it again? Okay. Ugh. Oh my god, guys, what's that over there? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. It's killing me, man. It's killing me, man. I'm curious, I'm curious that if I do this enough, will he just choose for me? Oh shit. Okay, that's bad. Oh my god, it's the boss's office. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! Mm -hmm. No! I need more time to process. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can get rid of Tim in a second, sorry. What is that? Is this a normal screen that All right. you get? I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. You're welcome. No, this is new for some of us. I've never seen any of this. Okay, hold on. Um. Twitch, BRB. Tim, I'm sorry, I gotta get rid of you, but I have your key thing set wrong. So, give me a second. Put on ten. Goodbye, Tim. You go sleep. Okay, we're back. Hello. Tim had to go to bed. Okay. Oh, look, the light's on. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to yeah, understand that now. 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted it before. Had no, I had no first. frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stan is. I would never do it again. Is. We're clearly a upsetting of fresh the, air the, in a landscape of storytelling. We that should progress to see what else is here, you know? You know what? <laughs> I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. I want him mad. Oh, I simply don't I want, want to let that mad. feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. So fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? and slow. Oh, you jerk. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? No. You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, the explosive fuck? moments flung right in their faces from the very moment <laughs> the things get started. 
But where's Thank the you, tinch? Anne for, where's for, the trust for in the subs? audience Thank you. to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for uh, the story, the characters? Thank you. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? <laughs> to have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. I will what you and I are doing sure. right now. This is He's the most really exciting narrative aggressive. to be developed in years. And it's really British, all because of so you. you. Can't tell. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else I'm out no there. Stranger you see, to I want stories sure. that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. All which know. is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp This is and taking vital forever, and I'm sorry! That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've mm -hmm. gathered a little press conference for you. Uh -oh. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. Really? I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Yeah. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Really? Oh good, we're here. Is he talking about Afka? This is nice. All eyes on Stanley, live on stage. Oh, world's healthiest human being, all tricks revealed. How we did it, the pyramids, the guy who went to Mars. Mmm. All, all eyes on Stanley, live on stage, hello. Oh my, oh my. World peace, baby. Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. The storyteller Stanley reveals all in his new book. I feel like there's some passive aggression going on here. Stanley, tonight live on stage. I wanna go through this door. 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 I wanna, narrator! Narrator! I want to go through this door. Narrator! Narrator! I hate this door. Doing great, a conversation with Alexander the Great. Oh, that's funny! <laughs> All right, are you ready? For I've what? told them you're going to speak a little bit about oh, the yeah. nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means Stanley. to craft a truly Rider? unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Are these my allergies? Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Am I allergic to them. chairs? Okay. Um... I saw 427. Oh, that was my chair. Stanley, me, dad, story? Break a leg, champ. You're a boss. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage, Rock On. I love the way you ride elevators. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Pokey. Um, I guess let's take the stairs. I kind of want a shirt that says, I love the way you write elevators. That's kind of very funny. <laughs> Hello! Hi, thank you! Oh my god, it's an honor, thank you! Oh my god, this is so fun! Wait, no, I wanted to see what happened! 
I was just funnin'. I wonder what happened down there. Did I get to see anything? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Way to go. Stanley well, decided to go happened. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I beat the game. Two endings down, 40 more to go. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, new content? <laughs> what does that mean, new content? Oh, oh, scary. Scary! Scary! What in the half-life? What in the Portal 2 is going on? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, As you may know, the Stanley what? Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. This is... The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. This is weird. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I hope this oh, well, is this sounds cool. delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, well, but I'm sure it's right just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Okay. Oh, shit. Let me out! 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 Ah! Ah! Let me out! Should we be moving somewhere? Or, uh, oh, there we go. All oh. right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Mm. Uh, claustrophobia. Mm. Simulator. Go Let's I go. Say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if the. Um, Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, give me Stanley. Content. Give me content. Give me content. Give me content. Huh? All right. The jump circle. All right. Let's see. It's jumps for me. The jump circle. <laughs> Is. Is that it? Mm -hmm, Surely mm -hmm. that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, mm -hmm. right? Goodness, another elevator. Good job, Stanley, man. I have to say, Thank initial you. impressions of this jump? game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? I'm jumping! If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. No, Hell, I could to count to 30 jumps, trillion. No, we you could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, Wonderful now with over Lord. a thousand hours of new content. What? And if. Oh, wait! There's more. Very good. Yay. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. What's down there? Oh, the abyss. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for enjoying the That's new it? content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when I'm greedy video game here. developers with no, no respect market. for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please, please ignore. ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm Good. offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter oh, and God. hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. It is your I fault. I built up too much anticipation around mm -hmm, the new content, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm, afraid. Mm -hmm. It could never have lived up to such expectations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? Wait, no, I don't want to reset the game. No, 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 Nary, you you're gonna cancel having a bitch. Great time hey together, man, what like do I always. have to do to get canceled what do you around say, here? Friend? Everyone else gets to do it. <gasps> Ooh, I could wear a fancier hat. Hats upset people. Hmm? Oh look, there's different stuff. Like up there, that's exposed. Ooh, nice. That cup keeps coming back. He really hates Mondays. 
Have you tried being an awful person? I do like, um... I do like... See, I... I... Psst. Oh? Stanley! Come over here! I was trying to think In of an awful vent. thing. I couldn't think of anything. I want to show you something. What? What did you want to show me? Oh. You don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? No, oh, never mind. You're not a dork. Remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Yes. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Yeah. So I made something special and tucked it away here really? where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Holy shit! Take a look. Oh my goodness! Oh my! This is lovely. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories okay, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Oh experiences God, like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Holy cow. This is so neat. I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at all the smoke over on the, on the lake. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Yeah! Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games oh. had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. <laughs> oh, waste. Wow. Smile because it happened. Their first. Oh, cool. Oh, that was the boss's office. Unachievable. It is impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> Go outside. Don't play for five years. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh my. New video game releasing today, creators. Oh. Am I dead? In loving memory of Stanley. Wait, am I dead? Wait. Oh, I don't... Wait. Papa. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> like this stunning <laughs> triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. What? It was literally every game ever created. <laughs> it was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. Oh. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. No! It's just a husk now. A John lifeless Gies, husk the creator of with an hour of new elevator content. <gasps> the hat was bugging me. Wait, I didn't know it was Persona Three. That's pretty cool, man. 
Mm. <laughs> Wait, let me out. <gasps> no escape. No escape. No escape. Oh, there's a downstairs. Just kidding. Wait. No escape. No escape. No escape. Oh. Oh. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. Oh. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games mm. and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with no, in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. <sighs> These were simpler times, simpler Stanley. Simpler times, narrated. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. Yes? I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. This is memory What's zone. What's this? What's down here? What oh, the no. shit? God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online oh, video no. game distributor. They hate I you. Haven't looked at these They're full years. of commenters like me saying that the game won't here. launch. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? You don't they? need to see it. They're just going to be mean to you. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, I'm with his funny. humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Yeah, make it art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. Yeah, let him insert such at a his own leisure, web please. Of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. This feels like, um, Half-Life. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, and mm, 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 this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game Either to get it to feel as know. light and airy. Really? It, well, I always thought it did. This is so cheeky. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel... Like a failure. No, 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 like no, no, Like I let no. these people down. You're not a failure. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, narrator. I'll still be your friend. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations ah! of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, That's so well, yes, yes. I think we can do That's that. So if I'm truly mean. too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these uh -oh. negative reviews from what the record. What is that? Only positive Wait. reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's what? always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Really? Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. Bow, bow, bow. And here it is. <gasps> Go ahead you. and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time. Oh, you're back, you see? Yeah, you I am. were Hello. only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of You're so sarcastic! <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. That's the power of the button. The body. minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. Of course, that of course, last of course, one was, of course. Well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Yes? Stanley, st yes? Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my God, there's no way out of the room. 
Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. Oh, Stanley, <laughs> you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. For two weeks? <laughs> oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Hi! Hmm? I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we... He's not talking! Oh, God! Wait, stop it. You killed him. What? How did... They killed him? But they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their... Wait, then played this too? Oh, really? Centuries pass. That tree looks tired. Now you're cold, is never bloody. The end I don't have any blood. End is never the end. 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 Is never the. Oh, that's nice. There's berries or something. That's very pretty. Oh. Hello? All the plants are gone. Where did the light go? So 
such hubris! Such hubris! Oh my god! What have I done? I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I feel scarred. I feel scarred. I feel scarred. I'm so confused. Well, now there's a different sign. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. I did. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. What are you going to show me? Was listen to his long speech. Fine. Things will never be the same again. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Yeah, the definitely. original Stanley parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. It's so true. forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? Uh. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think please of all the new territory we'll place. cover with a Time fully fledged sequel. Week. An oh. entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many what possibilities? It could Jimmy go in does. so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Just kidding. Nothing makes me want Jimmy John's. Nothing. Calling it the Stanley Parable cool 2 is just so much catchier Sweet. than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Oh, Ultra yeah. Deluxe? Oh, yeah. What does it even oh, yeah. mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic cool. statement How right there. It's future oriented. It's it screams cool. progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. That's but let's fair. take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I okay. figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, Whoa. that surely the game will sort of naturally oh spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Oh, game me, development me, is much me, more of a fuzzy me, magic me. than anything scientific or logical, really. Oh, my. What a lovely... Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The reassurance bucket? What the fuck? Stanley Parable 2. Mm. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the mm. office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. Happy but I'm undecided on sentence. Get Well get Someday well and Happy 12th Birthday. Happy 12th Birthday. Which would birthday. you go with? You know... Sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it what? is. But no, I, I said happy 12th, 12th birthday. That's not what I... What? What are you doing, Stephanie's? I want Stephanie's. That was weird. Let's try again. Oh yeah, see it right there. Or actually, what? maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. Made We're moving decision. on. Now to go to the creepy thing that will give everyone nightmares immediately. 
Please don't move. It's moving. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. What are you talking and what's about? truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting uh -oh. all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number Aww. go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move Wait, the hell on with your unremarkable life. What the shit? What? Oh. I... oh. Okay. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game. And then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Yeah. I okay. Free achievement collectibles or um There's the jump circle. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. Receive your new achievement. No more stuffs. Okay. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yes. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Oh, okay. Yes. You see, you all oh. come to this lever, and when you pull it, the Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, oh, the achievement see, see, see. is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. Well, I but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who I'm have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. Liar. Liar! <laughs> Gamers, gamers, I was lied to and I don't know how to feel. Thank you for resubbing Blue Mage for 16 months. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Thank you. I want to find another Stanley. Oh, look! Apple collectibles A9. This way? Jump circle exit. What was in the exit? Oh goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the bucket exhibit. What if I don't want to go to the bucket? There's a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves spring the bucket. On me? And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the bucket, oh okay? My God. Okay. All right, I'll get out of your hair now. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket B2. If that's the infinite hole. Infinite. Wait, hold on. Uh, is K. Where's the. I guess around over. Shut. I don't know. Is it up there? I don't know. I'm not good at directions. I like all the merch, oh my. Hehehe. Hmm. 
right is the bucket. Oh no, I know when the narrators are over here. Over here. There's a giant sign with a bucket on it. You say that. Bucket. But oh, there's the bucket. Why didn't you guys say so? Reassurance bucket. It's probably this way. We did it! I come for your bucket. The complaint of Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. It was very confusing. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Wait. Well, I am happy to say that after much Where's consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Where's my reassurance? It's the Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind bucket. and your heart. It's true. As bucket. long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may it's even come to right long height. for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine bucket, what a pain in the ass bucket, that would be? Yes, the bucket, bucket is the perfect bucket. solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> what? Can you feel it? Yeah. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, what? must already be sweeping through your body. Oh, and in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Really? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. <gasps> oh my. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Oh, all right. Cool. I have a bucket. Bucket, bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? We should have that an really award. That really should be an award if it isn't already. It needs to be an award. Wait. Mm, mm, mm. Ah! The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. <gasps> okay. Where's the button? Did I already go over here? That's a special, too. Hello? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Ba -da -ba, da -da 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 I got a bucket, baby. Ba -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. I got a bucket, baby. There's a bucket of reasons. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, that is the nicest what do thing players anyone really has want? Ever said ever. And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. I want to be validated. So with that in mind, Please my first addition my to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? It's broken. I hate these buttons. I hate them. I hate them. Oh. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Ooh. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Ooh. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Okay. 
Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. What? Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes! You see! What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Okay. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second yes, time. Daddy. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. That's fair. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes Whoa, a person cowboy. can be too much, Jim. Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Jim. Otherwise, soon you'll Jim. start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa there, cowboy. Hello. I have a bucket. Name, here you hear yours today. <laughs> He took the gym away. Now, how will I know who I am? A very philosophical game. All of these doors are impossible. Too much ye and his ha, for certain. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. Drill. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Mm. Here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Yeah. It's never been done before in a video game. Really? This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap this forward for video games as a I medium. See. Well, I was kind of wanting dinner. But I could also have oblivion. Thank you, Udine, for five subs. And thank you, Blah, for two years. <laughs> thank you all. Damn, we got so close. We got so close today. We got so close. Hmm? Get in your hole. <laughs> hey, man, it's my hole. I can do whatever I want with it in most countries. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Woodine. Um, yeah, we got so close, god damn it! Thank you guys very much for today. We got so close. Call of the Void? Well, shit. We're going full circle now. Or should I say... Ho hole. Ah! One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... <gasps> Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You oh. found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're yeah, so you clever. Freak. Look, I think the issue here What's is that just thing? that you're oh. unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Apparently, I me. figured the hole was as I'm deep crazy. as anyone would actually need. Don't you Can put you this on me? me Maybe you're the problem. To? No. You're the problem! Look, You're alive! Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. 
Why don't we just put all this behind like us holes. and agree that's to just my, call the whole mostly me. infinite? Yeah, if that works jars, for you, man. then go well, ahead is, and press the teleport time. button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay. Guys, 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 guys! The void called and we responded. And now we have a bucket and a, 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 a bragging rights. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you Oh for Heaven. <laughs> you see, yes, I was right. Today. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. Yeah. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys you had fun today. Sort of... I had fun today. Oh. Yes, did I did. Did the seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less <laughs> you, time in there than you did before. I appreciate I mean, it. Admittedly, oh my God, I we didn't got so make close an to infinite four, hole, um, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Oh well, God. I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. Really, if you decide really you've had enough of the wait, hole, wait, wait, you can hit the teleport button hype train. and come join happy me up above. 18 months flame as well. Thank you guys so much. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, thank you for your level three hype train. He wouldn't let us do it again. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. <laughs> He's if so this starts to become a thing. Of... <laughs> wow. Thank you, okay. Blazing, for ten subs. Yes. Oh I'm shit! We have forty-three hundred. That the 43. hole is not only 43. not infinite, wait, update, but that it's update, growing. Five subs, thank you. What a la. I updated it. Seven hundred, seven hundred, seven hundred. Thank you guys so much. Mel's cultured. Well, I mean, obviously, but why? Um, is the hole actually an elevator? Seven hundred, seven hundred. We're very close. Um, thank you guys so much for today. It was a lot of fun. We have a call now. We need the fun box. Fun box? Thank you for spending time with me while I ranted like an insane person for hours and then didn't follow directions. The hole feels good. It does feel good, doesn't it? I didn't think I'd go inside it so many times, but I'm glad I did. I feel safe. Wilma, thank you for 1337. I'm curious what you think on something. A monk, a warrior, and a thief sit at a table. The monk says, through discipline, we seek perfection. The warrior counters, through cha training, perfection. The thief shouts, Mel is adorable. Let's be a thief. Oh, that's really cute. Thank you so much, Wilma. Thank you. Eee. Nice to meet you as well, Nemo at Ofkai. Ofkai was so much fun. <sighs> <laughs> the only thing smellier than the inside of the hole is you. Why would you say that? Why, why would, why would you say that? I just try to do my best. 
take a shower. No! Thank you, Blazing, for 2,000 bits. Mel has Dorito feet. That is none of your business! How did they know? <laughs> Mel, please stop. You're getting snot on my jacket. Oh. That explains the smell. I'm out of here! You guys are so mean to me! Mel smelling like nacho cheese up in this bitch. Scott, take a bath. What the? I hate it here. I hate it. I hate it here. I hate, I hate, I hate, I I, I, I hate it here. Thanks. I hate it here. Cause you're all freaking, 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 you're all, you're, you're all jerks is what you are. You're all jerks. And I've had it up to, up to, up to, up to here with you bullies, man. I understand you bullying Zen. And I understand you bullying nanners. And I understand you. Shit. Ah. 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 Hi. Finally, Mel is Australian like me. Oh, because I'm upside down. I, under I understand you bullying the others, but not me. The dumbest one! I'm more sensitive! How dare you! Could we bully you because we secretly love you? I, I like to think that, but probably not. Thank you, Brutus, for ten dollars. Fun stream, Mel. Love the model tweaks, and I'm happy things are going well. Have a great night. Love ya. You wanna tweak my model, bro? Not in front of the bucket. Hmm? Thanks again, Blazing, for two thousand bits. You're a dork. Hmm? By the way, Mel, is up in the Yep. Out of curiosity, will the 3D hair get tweaked to match the live 2D hair? What do you mean? We took my, my 3D and, and we were like, we were copying the way that it flowed. Like the little piece on the on the top left right there. We, we were, we were um, emulating it so that it would look more like my 3D. Where is Sugar Tits? I saw her, him, it a few hours ago. I'm not here since like four months, but did I miss? What did I miss? Nothing! Nothing, nothing, and nothing at all. Everything is normal and you mustn't panic. Sometimes I blink separately and it makes me think like a dog. Because like I've seen dogs do that where they blink separately and you're like, Oh, what's going on in there? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Thank you, Willem, for a thousand bits. Professional smeller here can confirm from experience. I'm not a soon soon. I'm a genius. Is the bandaid on your nose so you don't have to smell yourself? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You're bullies. <gasps> You're a jag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go raid somebody. You're so mean. I don't even know how to feel you where you're all bullies. 
You're all boys. And we're almost to a sub goal. And then I have to sing a song for you people. Several, many songs. For shame is all I'm going to say. For shame. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. There, 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 there. Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much, Bloody, for 10 subs. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna go bug. I'm gonna go... Mm. Thank you for 10 subs. I appreciate it, Bloody. That's very nice of you. <sighs> and I know exactly what I want to do right now. I want to send you somewhere sexy. Somewhere eroticized. Somewhere to bring you smiles in this night. Hmm? No! I'm not taking a shower! You can't make me. I showered this year. Leave me alone. I'm gonna send you somewhere. Ah! Tim! Ow! Out! Oh, stop it! Out! Oh, stop it! Out! Oh. Stop it! Uh. Yeah. Bruised? My ego is bruised. My heart is bruised. But I'll say you guys have been a little nice to me so oh my god that bunny girl oh god oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry thank you all for spending time with me today it was a lot of fun a lot a lot of fun <laughs> i hope you all have a great wonderful night hmm? but but it's been it's been five and a half hours i want to have dinner gosh darn it I love you guys, you weirdos! I'll see you soon. Thank you again, mods, for all of the help, and thank you everyone for donating and 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 following if you chose to, and um, if you unfollowed, then then get bent. And uh, <laughs> I'm not even smelly. Shut up! Have a great day. Bye, guys. <laughs> Think they know everything. <laughs> <laughs>